Welcome everybody to Info Guides, where I show you what little I know. And let's get into something I didn't show you in the last video I did about the Anycubic Cobra 2 Max 3D printer when I set it up. There was a problem I had which actually delayed that process of setting it up for about, uh, what was it, about 36 hours while I was troubleshooting it, mainly because I also had to go to work. Not that the problem took that long. So this is just an introduction into uh, the video clips showcasing the problem I had and what I did that eventually fixed the problem. Again, this is specific to the Anycubic Cobra 2 Max 3D printer. This was a problem I had when I first turned it on uh, and I went to go uh, do its configuration where it would go through and do its auto bed leveling and allow me to load the filament. It aired out. I didn't show that in the first video, but here in all of its glory, we're going to go over that problem. So again, okay. So this occurred when it went to this step after I turned it on that first time, it was preheating everything. This was before I loaded any filament into the printer. It came up on the screen when it was trying to do the auto bed leveling with this wonderful error message. The module is abnormal. Please calibrate the position of the nozzle and module. Now, when you click confirm, it wouldn't walk me through and tell me anything about what I needed to do. And I spent probably, I don't know, an hour and a half without doing any research, just kind of being a dumb person, pushing buttons and all this. Uh, probably spent about an hour and a half that evening before I threw in the white towel and just went to bed. I was tired. Uh, the next day I watched some YouTube videos and looked up some research for things to try when I got home. And all of that will be summarized in the video clips coming up. So I would first want to say if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below. Uh, I realize you probably don't have this exact printer, but on your printers, uh, let's say when you got yours brand new, when you unbox them and set them up that very first time, did you have problems with your printer? It wasn't really set up and you swapped so. all these screens around. So the problem, once again, the module is abnormal. Please calibrate the position of the nozzle and module. That was the error message. Here we go, guys. Okay, so... In this step on this thing, I've been having this issue where it will come up and say sensor abnormal. Uh, I haven't done anything yet. All I did was basically a factory reset. And now I'm just waiting for it to go through this process again. See what it says. I did look up on the internet some, what do you want to call it? Uh... Uh, wiki tutorials on how to troubleshoot an abnormal sensor. So it's right after this step here where it's cleaning the nozzle. I, I assume that's what it's doing. Let's see if I can zoom in here. It's right after this step. We'll see what we get. Hold for a dramatic long pause. Now there's another sensor there by right now it's on a plastic square sensor to the left of that you can see is a circular sensor. When it goes to do that one is when it acts like it doesn't know what to do. And it calls itself abnormal. I don't remember this pause taking this long, so 
it'll still not work, but hang in there. Right here is when it would fail before. And that's what it did. So, now that a factory reset did not fix this, it's time for me to go ahead and jump through the other wiki tutorial fixes on this. And I'll try it. Hopefully, once I get it working, I'll be able to uh, provide you wonderful audience with a uh, how to fix this error video. Okay, this is attempt number two at recording a it's working video. The first one, I didn't hit the record button, but walked through the whole thing, so I'll be better this time around. Okay, guys, so here you can see it actually finished what it couldn't finish before. And so I'll just kind of quickly go over what steps I did. Now on here, I actually did a factory reset. So I went in here, I went down through here, went to more settings, and I did a system restore. That didn't fix the problem. So then I came in here and I did the auto level. That didn't fix the problem. So then, I walked over here to the wiki page I found, which is actually very useful. Uh, the URL is right there. Uh, wiki, anycubic.com, da 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 da. Uh, module is abnormal URL, because that was my problem. So after doing the factory reset, that didn't work. Then it tells you to check to make sure the sensors here uh, respond accordingly, and if not, if they seem tight, loosen them or tighten them as needed. I did that. That didn't really do anything until I then come down here and go through the calibration control, which, let me zoom in, make this a little bit easier to see. So on the first screen, you just go to the tools menu, then you go to the little settings menu, and then you go to module calibration. And now this screen here, you can adjust the X and Y on the platform. And this circle kind of represents, kind of again, guys, kind of represents the metal calibration circle on the unit, which looks like this right here. So you center it, then you click on save, and then you click on position calibration and hope it works. In my case, that worked, but I also did a couple other things that I'm going to go through here, and that is, uh, does it show on the screen? Uh, no. Down below it does, and basically the next step is to check the wiring condition, uh, wire connections. I did check some of these, but I did not pull it all apart, so let me show you what ones I did check. All right, so there's the calibration center. Center. Calibration sensor. Sensor. Sensei says sensor. Okay, I can't say the word. Uh, so this is the one that here you, you tap on it, make sure it's spring loaded. Here, you can see it's a spring loaded. This plastic one is where it cleans the print head. And so, I adjusted that with the set screws and all that like it suggests. And I also went underneath here. Let's see if I can get, uh, and I unplugged both of those wires for about 10 minutes while I was toying around with things with it off, plugged them back in. So I did all of that. And that's when I then came back to this screen and I did the module calibration which we have now completed. So now I think I can go on to the next step, which is I need to load. <gasps> yeah, I finally get to actually load my, uh, what do you call that stuff? Uh, kilograms of printer filament. That stuff right there. But that's for a different video. This is gonna be just a 
a follow-up little video talking about the problem I had and what steps I took to resolve the abnormal calibration module. Um, something is abnormal, help, help, help. Anyway, hope this helps uh, other people out there with these types of printers. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this clip here and we're gonna go ahead and load up some filament and see what happens.